Hello everyone, Jerry Smith here at the Blockade Runner. I drink coffee so that others may live. Sort of brings us around to the subject of today's video. How to cook and reheat using soldered tinware without it falling apart in the fire. Thanks for joining us today. Now the first thing that we have to have is a good fire. This is an example of a good fire. This is a bad fire. So let's review. Good fire, bad fire. Okay, now that you've got that straightened out, a lot of folks have told me that they are scared to death to cook with soldered tin. Okay. And I know everybody's got a story about their tinware falling apart on them, but it's very simple. The one thing you have to remember when you're cooking with soldered tin is always keep the vessel full. Now I know that can be a little difficult as you're using out of it, but when you do start dropping that level down, you can't put it back on direct fire. So let's do this. What we're going to do is we're going to take coals from our fire and we're going to pull them out and we're just going to use that. We're going to set it up and use it like that, right? But Jerry, I didn't bring all this junk. I haven't been camped in the same place since 1863. Okay, I get it. So, let's do this then. Let's get rid of this. Ow, ow, hot, 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 oh. Okay. So, I bet you brought some rocks. Or you can find some there, right? Let's just take, put our rocks near the fire. And we're going to put a little coal right there. I know you didn't bring a shovel either. Use a stick. Now, we're going to fill our vessel up near the top. And we're going to set it on the rock. Now, the way we're using it, the spout is protected from the heat, as is the handle. That's all you got to do. Now, this will heat up in no time flat. Uh, if you're familiar with your grill, you know how hot it can get, right? Now, with that in mind, remember, you always want to protect those pieces that are exposed. And that is generally the spout, handle. If it's a cup, we're just talking about the handle here. And for reheating your coffee when it gets a little cold, do the exact same thing. But remember, we don't want any direct flame hitting where this solder is. Now, solder, modern solder, melts somewhere between five and 600 degrees. So unless, unless you live in some sort of magical vortex where the laws of physics don't apply, then it's always gonna melt at five, 600 degrees. So if it falls apart, it's not my fault. It's not the tin maker's fault. It was your fault. Too much heat is a bad thing. Hope you found this short video helpful. And remember, you can like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for joining us.